Hello everyone, my name is Charmaine and I'm going to be sublimating a water bottle today. Let me show you this water bottle. It came from Walmart. It's glitter based. And it's a stainless steel double walled bottle. There you go. And I'm going to sublimate it because my customer wanted me to sublimate it. She wanted a um, water bottle to match her notebook that I made her. So this is the notebook and you can also learn how to do this notebook in my video that I did yesterday. Sublimation, how to sublimate a, a notebook. Okay, the things that we, the material we will need for this video will be the water bottle, a mug press, and I can let you know the name of my mug press in the description bar below, but I did get it from Amazon. And we're gonna need a, a um, Cricut or cut, anything, that, a cut machine so we can cut out the image and a printer, a sublimation printer. You have to make sure it has sublimation ink in it. Um, there's a lot of videos on YouTube that show you how to convert your your computers, your printers into sublimation printers. So you can check that out on YouTube. But I have the um, Epson 7710 and I have Ink Pro ink, which is sublimation ink. You'll also need the um, butcher paper and heat tape. Alrighty, let's get this going. Basically, I'm going to use a project that I already used, that I already used before. So I'm going to go to my projects, and then this is the the uh, SUV. I mean, the picture I'm going to use. So I click on that, and then I'm going to go to customize. So I have to measure it. I had to change the measurements because this measurement I have right, pop the pop up, it was for my notebook. So that's too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate it because I want to save this particular image for my notebook. So I'm gonna duplicate this. I went over to the corner right here and push duplicate, duplicate right here. And then I'm gonna use this one right here. And I'll put her to the side and how I can delete her without messing her up and coming back to her. I'll just basically come over here and push on the eye. And she's highlighted, so that's the one I'm, that's the one that's highlighted. So I'm gonna push the eye so I can delete her off the page so I can work on one thing right now. If you need more information on how to do all that, I can show a video. Just put it down in the description bar below and I can um, show you what you want me to what you want to learn about and I can help you with that. So I unlock it so I can make it smaller. And I have to choose the size that is um convenient for my that will work with my heat mug press. And that size is three by five, 3.5 by four. I have to use a 3.5 by four image because if not, it would not cover. That's the space right here that will cover the heat press. The heat press will cover that part. If I do, if I go longer or wider, it won't, it won't cover and it won't heat up. So we have to go, basically what you need to do is go ahead and measure your heat press. Let me show you this. I'm gonna call, call, call it the heat press, but it's the mug press. And this is the width. So I go by, I measured that right there so I can know how, why, and how long I need to have my image. And that's the mug press right there. Okay. And now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to change the, with right here you see it up here 4.5 which is almost 4.0 i need it to be 3.5 so i'm just going to delete that easier to do it like this 3.5 it's the width and then the length which is the height i need that to be four and it might change over it always pops different numbers in there let's see if it's going to change okay stay there cool so this is the size i need Okay, and now what I need to do, we're sublimating, so we have to mirror it. So now we done, we did this, is everything is good to go. So what I do, I go over to make it. It's, I'm sorry, you have to flatten it first. It's already been flattened, so I flatten it right here. You see a little cursor right there where it say flatten. It's unflattened, but it's flattened. So you have to flatten it so it can be all together for sublimation. This was an SVG, now it's a PNG because I flattened it. If you want more information, let me know and I can do a video about that also. So then I go to um, make it. Push that right there. And then it comes out. This is a prints and cuts. So the machine is printed cut. It won't see a, the black. This is the mat right here. So when it's, if it's a white sheet of paper, that means it's going to print and cut. Not as far as cutting it as vinyl on your Cricut. Okay, so now you have to um, mirror it because it will be everything you put heat on, you have to mirror it. So there you go. It's, you know, it just 
flipped it. And then you push continue. Now I'm going to plug up my printer. You don't have to worry about the um, Cricut. I'm not using the Cricut. I'm using the printer. So I just plug that up. And this, on this, let me see. So the mirror is on. One image, print the cut. So then I'll put it in the printer. And then this is my printer right here. Then I take the bleed off. I don't usually use the bleed. And then I just go ahead and push prints right here. Then it should print out from my printer. Like I said, I use the Epson Workforce 7710. I got my printer from Office Max or Office Depot. It was only $100. And you had to convert it into a sublimation printer to do this. I don't know why that popped up. We don't need that. We're not using Cricut. We're just using the printer. So while that's printing, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my heat press so it can heat up. right here and I need I think I need to do like a um a, a, um cart a clean what's it called a clean to clean my um ink because I see the lines in here but it should still work but I know it's about time for me to clean my ink cartridge let me see so I'm done with that so what you need to do now is just basically cut around the black lines because you don't want the black lines to be on your item so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna go ahead and cut it and while my mug press is heating up, I turned on the wrong thing. I turned on my heat press. Let me turn on my mug press. So let me turn on the right press so we can get it together. Okay, there it is. So while it's heating up, sorry about that, should have been. This is my image. It's cut and ready for me to go ahead and tape it onto my um bottle. There's the bottle. Let me turn my. Okay, it's not working like I wanted to, but let me close this. Okay, and that's the bottom I'm going to be using. I just got this tripod, so bear with me. I'm trying to focus it. So I can see the bottle. It's not working for me. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry about that, you guys. This is a new tripod and it's not working for me like I wanted to put there. That's that it was kind of crooked, but. Ah. I'm gonna go ahead and basically what we need now is the, the image in the bottom and I'm gonna put it right here I think I like it right in the middle of the bottle and I can say you don't it don't matter where you put it just put it where you want it but you make sure it's a uh, set right when you put it in the heat the mug press and I'm gonna get my heat tape excuse my ashy hands good lord Shoot, I cut myself. really dry skin right now I didn't Okay, so then I'm gonna put tape on each side. Keep it real firm so it won't, the, the image won't move when you put it in the heat press. So there you go. Guys, I'm waiting on my big um, tripod to come so I can use my iPhone. Sorry, I'm using my, I, my iPhone. I will be using my iPad as soon as my tripod come, tripod come in the mail. <sighs> So this is kind of hard using this iPhone. But like I said, this is some shade image. I mean, how it is taped, it's taped tightly on the cup. It's in the middle of the cup. OK. 
okay the water bottle i'm sorry and then if you do that you will have to put on the um paper the butcher paper which is this right here you got that butcher paper on there so it won't burn the other part of the image and i'll set this right here so you can be able to see as i put the um cup inside the heat press it's beeping because it's ready so what i'm gonna do is cut a piece of paper off the butcher paper so i can put it around the cup and i'm gonna do it for 400 degrees 60 seconds go ahead and um, wrap this up but I cut myself so I'm bleeding so I'm gonna go wipe this blood off but this is how I wrap it around and put tape around it it's the butcher paper and I'll be back after I take it off the heat and I just slide into the heat press like so and make sure it's the image is in the right spot and then you close it up and put it on for 400 okay I just took the um water bottle out of the heat press this is the butcher paper that I wrapped around it so you see how it bleeds through you never want to use this again because it'll bleed through your other product that you might be doing so I throw this away and I usually use um this little tool right here for my Cricut machine to take the tape off um before I put in the heat the mug press I put some more tape right here on top so it can just make sure everything is laid down okay, and it's kind of hot to so make sure you cool it up for a little while so you won't burn yourself so I'm gonna go ahead and take this tape off. Peel it off. Uh, and voila, there we go. Here's our Boss water bottle. If you have any questions on how I did this or you want me to do more videos, please let me know. Subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. But you also can put it on the back too. If you want to put something else on the back of somebody's name or something to personalize it, you can do that also. But I'm just going to leave it like this to match my notebook. Ta-da. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.